get our first speaker up here. He has the voice of an angel, and little old ladies flock to him at supermarkets to reach things on the top shelf. Please welcome our groom, James. Oh, thank you, Ruth, for that entertaining uh, introduction. <laughs> yes, that was great. Okay, so at uh, most Campbell family gatherings, uh, we are reminded of the fact that uh, Dan was born on Good Friday, Uncle Ian was born on Christmas Day, and Uncle Stephen was born on Australia Day. So uh, I've got some new items to add to the list. Jessica was born on Halloween, <laughs> and we met on Anzac Day, and we were meant to get married on Valentine's Day, but instead we got married on Palm Sunday. So there you go. Well done. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it goes without saying thank you everyone for coming today and for your great generosity with all of the gifts and um, spending your Sunday with us today. It's, uh, we've put a lot of effort in and I've uh, been a bit nervous about today, but uh, I think it's gone really well and uh, yeah, uh, very big thank you to everyone for coming. Um, while we're here, Dad mentioned uh, Grandma and Grandpa used to live just across the water there in New Haven and uh, just like to pay tribute to them. They uh, they passed about 18 months ago. We had their uh, funerals with, uh, with Minister Ian as well, and he did an excellent job of that. So just by to quickly pay tribute to them. Um, yes, we spent many years on uh, going to the island, and it was lots of fun. Uh, so yes, our marriage. Now I'll tell you a little bit of the story. So, um, <laughs> well, before I, I met Jessa, in my younger and unwisely uh, naive years, uh, I used to think marriage was uh, something that you do once you get a bit older from having fun with your friends at bars and you just find someone that you can get along well enough with and just hope that you turn out and just go out to the bottom question and hopefully everything goes alright. But uh, now that I'm uh, older and wiser, maybe, and I'm, since I met Jessa, of course, I've discovered that uh, getting married isn't about uh, placing your bet, then you're uh, betting half your life and saying you'll stay together forever. It's about uh, knowing that you never want to live without someone. Aww. And nothing, no one will ever keep you apart. <laughs> uh, so, a bit of a backstory to how we met. Uh, way back in 2016, I found a bunch of mini courses, and um, I was in narrow at the time, but I, I don't know what happened. I was, um, I thought I knew all the answers to the questions, and I, I thought everything was going well, but it was almost like this, uh, I was meant to fail at these courses for some reason. I didn't understand it at the time. But I was in America, and uh, I was getting a Churchill tattoo, and uh, because I got the tattoo, I um, had to get cash out from the ATM to pay for him and the driver to take me to LAX to fly home. And, uh, the ATM withdrew the money but didn't dispense the cash, so I couldn't pay the driver, and then I missed my flight home. Um, now, because I uh, failed at semester beginning and decided to travel for a semester, uh, rather than graduating in 2016 and spending 2017 and 18 in Cairns, I spent 2018 and 2019 in Cairns, and it was January of 2019 that Jessa moved to Cairns, and it was the exact day of the year that we met. So it all happened for a reason, I guess you could say. Um, yes, Jessa, from the moment I met you, I uh, knew there was something special about you, and I could see it in your eyes, and uh, I could tell you were a little bit clumsy. <laughs> but I'm clumsy as well, and I uh, thought because of that that we were meant for each other. <laughs> And so I fell madly in love with you, so very quickly. And uh, we, we've done a lot together. We've um, travelled all around, well, we've done all final of Queensland together. We've spent, uh, we've been to Port Douglas and uh, Paranta and the Everton Tablelands. And uh, my best, my favourite memory, of course, was um, when we went in the helicopter over the Great Barrier Reef, where I proposed to her. Oh. Yes. And uh, then, of course, we uh, drove down the East Coast together and uh, just made it into Victoria before the border shut. So, that was quite good. <laughs> um, so, we met in the cafe, uh, but to all the band members in the audience, I would encourage you to 
fraternising with someone from Generation Y or Z and asking about Tinder. <laughs> Times, which has been quite impressive. Uh, we had one landlord move in and sleep on the couch. We had another, <laughs> we had another guy uh, come on drunk every Friday, Saturday night at 3 a.m. and leave the front door wide open. Um, but despite all of the challenges together, we've um, made it through stronger than ever. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm uh, I'm I have a lot to learn from your brave character. You are the only one of your siblings to move to Australia from the Philippines. And you had the faith to know that everything would turn out well. And then, despite my many problems, uh, you decided, you realised you decided to be with me. So that was, that was great. Um, <laughs> and your, your presence with me always brings me joy. And your kind, gentle love uh, always makes me happy and uh, makes me want to be the best man that I can be for you. Oh, wow. So we owe a debt of gratitude to Jess's parents and family for, um, for uh, not only raising such a beautiful girl, but uh, entrusting me to their daughter and niece and cousin and sister. So. Uh, it's my sincere goal to fulfil your parents' uh, expectations of a son-in-law, and I uh, promise uh, to them that I'll uh, take very good care of them. And um, yes, and we, we thank God for all the blessings that uh, we have all received. We've made it through many challenges together, and uh, through our faith, we've, um, we've made it through stronger than ever. And I'd like to thank the team at Silverwater here, they've done an excellent job with all of the food. And very big thank you to Ian, the Minister, for the wonderful service. Um, to uh, the bridal, uh, bridal party here, a big thank you to Andrew his, um, for his role as best man. It's, um, his, everyone's looking very nice, very swimmingly in their suits. <laughs> And uh, it's been my honour to bestow that uh, role to you, and I hope it's been the fulfilment to you of your values. And um, <laughs> and yes, um, so I, another a big thank you to Alice as well for her role as maid of honour. She's done an excellent job supporting Jessel along the way, and of course to Stuart. Stuart's been a lot of help. He's been very supportive, and to Tim of Ruth. Tim Ruth, of course, the Anderson's and bridesmaids and groomsmen. And yes, very big thank you to Mum and Dad as well. Uh, not only have they been very supportive of us along the way, uh, they were uh, helped us in many the logistical uh, issues with arranging the wedding. There have been many more weddings than we have, so they were able to chart the course for us. And so, yes, I uh, think it's time to raise a toast to. Many years together, yeah. and to the beautiful bridal party. Yeah. 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 Cheers. 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 Sorry. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay. Now Pretty have... simple concept, yeah? All right. We've got final questions. Now I'll find the questions. Hang on, you take the, you take the mic. We get a final question. All right. Get in there. You're kind of... <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I'll go first. Jesse. Oh, it's Jessa and Jimmy. Sorry. <laughs> like, who is older? We've got that one. Who is the most well-read? <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 